Hearst notes, however, that the same Antigua Barbuda Workers Union had an appointment and a meeting at 3 p.m. on Friday with the Attorney General, the Honorable Stedroy Benjamin. In other words, he states, the ABWU already planned what he termed the industrial action before the meeting with the Attorney General. Hearst says the General Secretary of the ABWU, David Messiah, objects to the government's press release, which was circulated after the invite was dispatched by the ABWU. His objection, heard on another media entity, is that he was having a meeting with the AG and that the government had no respect for the protocol. But the government spokesman is describing this claim as nonsense. He says the ABWU, an ally of the UPP, is attempting to be disruptive, noting that the union's tricks and misinformation will not work. Hearst is therefore urging the bank employees to report for work on Monday morning and not follow ABWU's harmful lead. Meanwhile, the Antigua Barbuda Workers Union is denying that it is organizing industrial action involving bank employees. General Secretary David Messiah is also denying that his union is playing politics. However, a circulation sent out to bank employees, while not specifically stating that it is a planned industrial action, could have that effect if the employees respond in large numbers. ABS News is in possession of a copy of the circular, which clearly invites all employees of the leading commercial banks in the country to a meeting on Monday. The meeting is slated to start at 8 a.m. while all the banks open for business. Sources say if bank employees attend the meeting in large numbers, it would cripple operations at these institutions. It therefore would have the effect of industrial action. The circular says the meeting is to discuss amendments to the Banking Act that will be introduced in the Senate on Monday. Sharice Constant, ABS News.